what's up what's up so this video is about what would you eat if everything shut down if you don't own a grocery store you don't own a grocery store right do you know how to grow stuff right so i'm uh, where i live we have seven chickens we have our own grapes our own eggs and our own tomatoes right can't live off all that but we only have hens. We have seven chickens with their hens, so we don't have a rooster to lay eggs. Yeah, okay. But my my Mexican nephew, we was talking about people eating people at the end of the times, right? Now I remember one time I was at uh, um, shout out to my cousin Tony. He he got shot one time, and he was recouping at his sister Toya house, and we was all over there, Uncle Tim, his sister Cassandra. We was all over there, Tamika. We all over there, and uh, I got talking about what would happen scenarios if we ran out of food, if you no know, done. And so, uh, and my cousin Cassandra, I have her in, in my intellectual circle. I consider her smart, and she said, uh, but her and Uncle Till said they would eat people. You know what I'm saying? But my cousin, my, you know, said my cousin Tony he kept it a hundred. He said, I'm kicking in doors, I'm robbing people. You know what I'm saying? Now me, I'm a, I'm gonna try to grow stuff. I'm gonna attempt to grow stuff. I wouldn't have a problem defending myself, killing people. I, I would have dogs, so I would feed the people that I killed to dogs. I wouldn't eat them, you know. Um, I wouldn't even eat the dogs, you know. Now, dogs are um, considered a delicacy in China. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I treat dogs like, you know, dogs, but I love them like family, you know. And my people, if people of color, we have a spiritual connection with dogs. You know, so you see us, most most people of color, they have a spiritual connection with dogs or any animal is, is spiritual. They hold they, you know, I put my forehead on the dog's forehead and just hold it for a minute and gently rub them. You know, you see uh, native people, indigenous to America, Turtle Island, look it up. Um, they always had a, a relationship with the animals, you know. Now, some people only have, there's certain people that only have sexual relationships with these animals. That's just them. But um, I've, no, I've noticed that, you know. Anyway, Chinese people eat dogs. Like, so I wouldn't eat dogs. I wouldn't eat people. But Chinese people eat dogs. I've seen it for myself. They have them in chicken coops. Like the chicken look, they have cats and dogs in little chicken coops. And they eat them. You know, it's a delicacy, you know. Um so or it's a regularcy <laughs> for real so uh, so my nephew i'm telling him last night about how uh caucasians ate ate my ancestors they got a cookbook called the delectable negro you know and um i'm gonna insert that into this right so i'm gonna pause so i can say right here or something like that so i'm gonna insert that a clip of that or from a shoot it on my kit from the kindle app on my thing and insert it here but but my nephew is Mexican. He okay. is so now nice the in the app. world. He Not gonna say, like, get your Kindles well, up. You know what I'm saying? Go and get you a Kindle app. It don't matter. You know? We're all built you the write same. A book. Every human. Yeah, I got Black, a little library right, on my screen. I say say books. If you ain't got this on your phone, people. don't even fuck with me. Don't even speak with me. Family yeah, members too. I said, all you right, ain't all got right, an app right, on your like, phone, and like, you got right, some of that, that shit. So he say, well, you can't what he was saying, he's like, saying. So I can take that book sign language or some shit. and eat. Oh, 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 oh and my nephew and his so wife, the they say they eating people so, too. He agreed last night to eat people. She told me that day. She, if I have to, I said no. We know your uncle is a prepper. We not eating people, you know. But my nephew said, yeah, he eating people, and he's like, he'll take that cookbook and use it to eat. I said, you eat everybody. He said, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They made a cookbook to eat people, bro. But you can eat everybody with it. it huh? So I just said, Kyle, I just wanted to put this video up. Talk yeah. about uh, cannibalism is used to be taboo. Yeah. What y'all gonna do? But if you don't own a grocery store. In cyberspace. But like <laughs> and, my, I was saying, and my niece, me and her, Chunky, she said, Negro. They, people don't know. Well, the only end, cookbook on how to cook uh, a human. They go, uh, fat people would be the ones to survive. Yeah. I said, Prince that baby. <laughs> my uh, niece, said, well, we they the coming cookbook. for the we fat people first. We use the recipes in here. Mm -hmm. She's like, that's what I'm saying. We're going to have to kill everybody. Which See, I plan I do not agree with. You know, I walking dead, these motherfuckers. This is bad. I plan on. I have Bad human. Oh, I have a plan. Oh, yeah. So Bad. kill the people, well, use their bones too. as a fence. Shame, Let man. people know you coming over here, you will and get murdered. But I ain't gonna eat you on feet to the dogs. Just but I may have to, you know, like I told my nephew, I guess I would have, because I'm a chef, I, don't, I, don't I guess I would have to fix a couple people meals for my people, because they're gonna be like, you ain't giving all that to the dogs, I guess, you know, because. You know, I'm not going to stop loving them if they start eating people in, you know, the world and shut down. I, I, I basically plan and prep for uh, natural disasters.
But everybody, when I say I'm a prepper, like he's waiting on the end of the world. No, I don't. But I, I, I take my prepping seriously. I go through my disaster kits and throw out what's expi what's expiring, take the expired can uh, edibles or whatever, and restock that shit when possible. You know. Um, but it, ooh, I I'll be so stressing a little bit. Like when I run out of stuff and don't have the funds to replenish it. What if I have a little natural disaster in between that time? I'm like I'm out of shit. But anyway. That's all I want to say. Just talk about uh, we shouldn't eat people, I guess. Uh, cannibalism ain't good. Uh, and, you know, let's just not eat people. Please. Like, share, subscribe. You know. And uh, cook your meat all the way through. I seen that movie, it's li Alive, where the, where the people that flew had to eat. And they ate the buttocks because that's where the meat was because they were stuck on that mountain. But then they survived and now they just don't talk about it. Because they ate the people that died. They ate the booty of the people. Watch the movie. It's basically, it's called Alive. It's based on a true story. They got a, tra a they got trapped in the Indies in the park in the somewhere up in the in the mountains, and they had to eat eat the frozen people. They ate their booty, the booty meat. So I'm not telling you if you gotta eat people, start with the ass. But uh, I guess you gotta eat the ass to to survive. <laughs> so. So if you come around here and it's over, my niece and nephew, I'll do anything for them already in there and, and it ain't the end of the world. So if it's in the world and you come around here trying to, you know, take a chicken or, you know, pillars, rob, break, whatever, we probably go cook that ass. Deuces, two fingers. <laughs>